No, we. Okay, we're live. Wait. We're live. Hello, hello. 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 Yeah. Okay, okay. First things first. How much does everyone remember from the previous session? I did not copy everything. Very so, so the the so four infinity, so now. the four infinity nano machines united into the infinity crown that lays on uh, Suiso's head right now. We're all really fucking confused. Bar him. Yeah, that's too. He's wow. the only one that actually has a grip on what's actually going on inside his fucking head. Amazing. Are you sure he has a grip? Well, I mean, seems a bit more well adjusted than the rest of us. I'll be, I'll be frank. Ah. You're not Frank. So, You're Arty. I see. Oh. I see. Christ. Oh. oh, I'm dying. It's killing me. It's, it's killing you. Her. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's basically the gist of it. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. We also stab. We stab the. Cl we we club the club to death until the club touched, touched hands with say hi, and then then the assimilation happened, and a uh, twenty minute uh, inner fort, inner fort battle happened between uh, Suiso and the combined uh, the four nano nano machines as they. He entirely tried to convince Suiso to have a greater ambition, and Suiso was just like, nah. Alrighty then. First things first, you are finally he arrived. He was like, what's my gunpla? You, you, <laughs> you have finally arrived back in orbit. <sighs> the, uh, the, load of our back. the trip there was awkward. Very awkward. Mm -hmm. Con constantly. Angel, you are getting Skype calls. I mean, transmissions, yes. Yes. <laughs> why? 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 Why did you do this? Why yes. did you do this? You see, I could have lived a long and happy life without that knowledge. Do, 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 do. All right. Just turn on the do not disturb and... Uh, okay, you know, was, uh, various, Can I at least see the caller, please? Various Alrighty. different organizations, several different bandit kings asking why Centuri was being glassed all of a sudden. Remnants of the Ross Foundation trying to find a new leader. And, uh, I mean, I will try to gather the remnants of the Ross Foundation and the Jarling Foundation. Yep, and finally, one last caller. Who is that one? It's one of your aces. It's a certain Ogata. No way! Oh, no way. Ogata, how do you oh. survive? It is a one-way recorded transmission of Ogata's uh -oh. final moments. Oh, no. Oh, oh no! no! no. Yeah. You didn't! You monster! Oh god. As it turns out, even before you made the move on the club, Ogata had uh, volunteered himself for a certain operation with uh, the RPP. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no! I can see where this is going. His last words regard the fact that he is doing the honorable thing in joining a bombing run so that there are the least number of casualties possible. He was a true hero. He, sign, he signs off that the club will be destroyed even if he has to ram it himself. It Why him. did I expect that? The flight logs, the flight logs attached from the automatic automatic sending, pretty much record that. Yeah, he was part of that second wave of aces. So none of our aces survived. No, you got one surviving. Hmm. That was one. So you remember the funny Dicky best? Yeah. He survived. Would you like to check his uh, flight manifest? Wait a however? second, it was the Jeff dude. <laughs> the you... dude who lied yep. and was a horrible editor. Mm hmm. Yep. Okay, I'll check his flight logs. You check his flight logs, you realize that he has barely used any fuel, left the hangar for all of five minutes, and uh, did not indeed drop a single bomb. Okay. 
can we get to Ogata back instead, please? Ogata's mm. honorable remains are on the field elsewhere at this point. Uh... Meanwhile, uh, yes. D Dig Best is uh, just drinking coffee in the break room. Mm. She would have expected. Drinking coffee in the break room and hyping it up to his peers that he was, uh, how does he say, got two confirmed kills and all that. Yes. <laughs> Can so someone, good. you know, make his flight logs public? Just, just, you know, as a funny, accidentally dropped them. I'm That's sure as a, dropped. I'm oh. sure you, you're, I'm sure we can just flood it somewhere. Open the terminal. Boop, boop, Filed boop. in suspiciously accessible area. Yes, you file the flight logs in a suspiciously ac accessible area. The thing with the flight log comes uh, the in-flight camera as well. Let's review the footage. Oh my. When you look at the footage, you watch him uh, very shakily operate the plane. He uh, powers it Are up. Are you telling me it's worse than we thought? Yep. He, he, he powers it up. Panics when he realizes there is no onboard AI. <coughs> and uh, does a simple flyabout before redocking. This man is useless. They even pass our fucking screening. How did he pass the screening? That is a good question. I think. How did he pass? I don't the think this guy passed basic flight. Laziness and ingenuity. Laziness and ingenuity. Yes. That the man Going upwards. On That's on the real. flight deck camera. That's too real. Let's see. On the flight camera, you also notice that he uh, attempts to plug in some kind of chip into the chip into the thing into the system. But uh, the chip keeps getting refused. He eventually gives up, and that's what causes him to fly back. Wild. Use. Fucking wild. Ugh. I reckon we dock the cunt. In the break room, you see him sipping on coffee and bragging about his exploits. How do people realize uh, what what do the other pilots do when he when they notice that his flight looks are a bit different? Hey, look here! Hey, look! Hey, Dicky! Your your flight logs they're, they're available for everyone to see. Let, let's see your two amazing confirmed kills. Yeah, yeah. The cafeteria goes dark as a projector screen is layered onto a wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. They, they they see his hands shaking and everything. Like, you you okay there, buddy? You okay? Oh man, it, it's it's like you don't know how to fly a plane without an autopilot or cruise control. Oh, oh, they never taught you manual, did they, Dicky? Oh God. Oh. You you watch as some of the pirates sitting around also start laughing and teasing the gun. Come on, it's... I don't even know. We fucking got this guy on. Fucking asshole. <laughs> then, then one of the other pirates is like, "Hey, hey, 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 hey! This, this is the guy who did those funny edits, right? Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, give me a, give me a hot moment. Let me stitch this tape together and everything." You watch as this pirate does a very live edit, making him look even, making Dick Best look even more pathetic than he already was. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you now get uh, MLG sound effects and music <laughs> and Doritos <laughs> flying around. While he, uh... I'm just imagining like, you know, the set file and then the chip gets rejected a final time. There's literally just a... Uh... How does one put it? Dorito bags flying around as he fumbles the bag and uh, goes back to port. 
Wait a second. Why do I have the sad violin? <laughs> God damn. And then there's just the hang on, hang on, hang on. Hey Dick, hey Dick. <laughs> Uh, hey Dick, hey Dick, you, you mind if I get your shoulder camera? It has already been snatched away. The man's shoulder camera is then broadcasted to show even more pathetic moments. These include that upon returning to, uh, upon returning, he, uh, immediately jumped out, grabbed a wrench, and, uh, sabotaged his own plane to make it look like he'd been shot. Oi. <laughs> oh, bro, that's coming out of his pay. <laughs> there, there, there is then the moment where he uh, sabotages himself as well to make it look like he is combat enable. He uh, uses the same wrench and crunches his arm in. That's okay. <laughs> that's some dedication. <laughs> that's some dedication, to... yeah. The, the, uh... Put tape over the camera first. The heroic exploits of Dicky Bass caught on camera. 4K HD. 4K even them. Yeah, we're, we're far it's enough in the camera. future that 4K is kind of a, a lower standard at this point. So that's like 720p. Yeah, it's like watching. It's like watching like shaky cam footage. <laughs> Only the shaky cam footage, you see the man's hands actually shaking as he uh, smashes his arm repeatedly with a wrench. I just feel bad. It's kind of now. funny. Yeah, the the, the the general mood kind of just uh, dips at that point. They're like, "The fuck, man! The fuck, man. who who is this guy?" I admire the dedication, but uh, well, you know everything else, right? Yeah, the dedication much. to the bit's good, but uh, uh buddy, uh, uh, the bit's uh, good, but that's a bit weird, bro. That, that, that's a bit weird, man. You signed up to be one of the aces, and uh, you couldn't even handle actual manual flight or combat. That's kind of cringe in it. <laughs> he, he's at a loss for words to say. Just like, uh, uh. He finally comes up with an idea. I know. Someone, you know, it's like the, it's like doctored footage, made up, made up images, AI controlled. No, 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 no. These aren't my flight uh -huh. logs. These are flight logs of. He pulls up a list of dead pilots for a moment. These are the flight logs of Ogata! I throw a chair at him. You mean those flight logs? I say as I put Ogata's final moments on the big hollow screen. You, you, you see Ogata's flight logs. They, they're two separate bombing runs, several strafing runs, followed by a final crash into the club. Uh, uh, if you're going to try and lie your way through something like this, don't try to insult a hero. Doctored footage again! You see all this? Oh, no, so ashamed I give him about the this. I throw a chair at him. I, I give him literal slap. I just slap him on the face. Let's see, the slap takes priority first, followed by Langhart coming out of nowhere with the steel chair. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to give him the just throw the whole table at him, actually. He has been floored by a steel chair. He has been crushed by the steel table. Fucking dipshit. Did you kill him? No. Unfortunately. Like a roach, he still starts crawling back out. Yeah, fucking worm your way out of this one, you fucking dickhead. We threw enough shit today about a dipshit like you starting to uh, take fucking, you know, credit for when no credit is due to you. Fucking coward. It was at this point where some of the pirates were like, ah, oh, don't worry, we know what to do with this kind of guy. If you've ever seen the uh, JoJo torture dance, you know exactly what's currently happening to this guy at this <laughs> point. 
<laughs> oh dear. Yeah, Man, no. this dude little wish he never cheated. Yeah. Yeah. Anyhow, your presence is requested at the bridge at this point. Ah, oh, very well. I move to the bridge of... What ship are we actually on? Let's see, that, that is a good question. That is a good question. The, uh... Let's say you are on the. Let's say the SS Militant Faith. Okay, I move to the bridge of the Militant Faith and link with it. Yep, you arrive at the bulkhead, they open up. What's revealed to you is a bunch of unfamiliar pirates, but at least one captain that uh, greets you honorably enough. I give him a salute back. Alright, this is your Captain Bones. Uh, that that didn't go as smoothly as we expected, did it? No! There were several layers of treason and outside interference with the operation, but well. Treason. <laughs> you were expecting honor among thieves when you hired us. I gave him a shrug. I was hoping for, you know, people hoping for, well, knowing what's the best for survival at the very least. Survival. In the strip, people appreciate currency, not survival as far as I know. That's fair enough. Anyways, you had a report for us. Let's see. The report is simple. The report is simple. Can you pay up? Out of character, that is a good question. <laughs> Did the Bitcoin recover? No, no, so, no so. It's, in, it's in free fall. Are we doing the sell, sell, sell? Do, do you wish to do, do the sell, sell, sell? sell? Yeah, you might want to know the asking price first. Yeah. Let's see. For us to fly into an active war zone and pick up your sorry asses. Hmm. Let's see. You got two billion on ya. Do we have two billion chips? Because I'm pretty sure that we were drowning in chips. Yeah, the reason you were drowning in chips was because of the Bitcoin price at the time. How many Bitcoins are you sitting on currently? Let me check. 207.5. Alright, let's see. Let's see, that would have only put you at... 5 million. However, at current, the price is one third of that, so uh, that's awkward. You are at 1.7 million, so you are uh, several hundred million short of a billion, yes. I'm going to say prices are going to recover, and first we need to stick together and not do anything foolish. Mm, As we I, gather the pieces. I don't know about that, I don't know about that. You know, you, you got a bounty on your head right now. We saw a Kaiser vessel blow up right as we left. You got to be kidding me. This shit Why do you have a bounty? Well, I'm sorry, but it's... A bounty placed on me illegally. Mm, illegally? Well, we, we had the... Uh... We had the pleasure of looking into your past exploits, uh, Captain. I give him a wide grin of an insane person as I try to take control and say, so you should know what happens if you will keep this up, buddy. <laughs> All right, roll me that take control. <coughs> Can someone give me an accuracy on this? <laughs> You're on your own, Noble. You're on your own, Noble. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't, you didn't uh, the lens session without whiskey attempting to use the control at least. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Why are my rolls so bad? This is actually making me mad. This is the stat I infested in the most. Oh, yeah. You could get a plus six oh. for it, but uh, that, that unfortunately... Is a, that's a one. Yeah, that's that, just... That is... 
Very unfortunate. Yes. Uh, no, no, let me see. I'll Missy, try that, to that's... either inspire his body, stake him down. M Missy, <laughs> Missy, that's not how this works. I shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, if he doesn't believe the threat, I am going to shoot him to make a point. <laughs> and we roll the take control on those surviving. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I don't shoot him. I cut his head off with my sword. Let's see. <laughs> Oi. You're not quite Oi, in Oi, range Oi. yet, and by the time... Let's see. Okay, I'll shoot him then. As you reach for as you reach for your firearm, he's like, hey, 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 hey. This is a... This is not the time to be pulling out a firearm. Not in a pressurized chamber like this. You want to go flying out into space and make our job quicker? I... No do you have... Uh, I, I'm asking you, do you have vacuum gear on you? Because I do. No, no, it doesn't seem like vacuum gear to me. The, the, pirate, the pirate just looks around. If you don't take what I take fucking seriously, I will make you. Have I made myself clear? No, I don't think you have. I shoot him. As you fire off, he slams on a button, and you watch as the bulkhead, the bulkhead slams down in front of you at the same time. You have gotten a successful shot off on him, but he's locked you out of the bridge. So... <sighs> Those were I the best fucking the fight fight. again. I look at the funny gun with the card symbol on it. Uh huh. Yeah, waste it on. I want to use the Ace of Clubs to shoot through this bulkhead. We'll waste it on trash like this. <laughs> I have a feeling we're going to be needing it for fights about coming up ahead sometime soonish. This is your captain speaking. <laughs> Can I override that since I already linked into the ship systems and I assume my implants are better than his? We have a traitor Considering on that board. My... Come on. We call yeah. this insubordination in the highest degree. She is attempting a mutiny. Hey, I'm chiming into. I'm basically remote booting my NHP at this point. It's like, hey, dog, go rip open the reactor for me. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I'd like to activate my own NHP and support RT with this. Okay, Max heading towards the reactor. Boom, boom. The chain X craze metal. <laughs> so I kind of just like, you know, link into the systems again. Mm -hmm. Yep. This is your commanding officer speaking. You are all now part of the. How will we call it? I don't know. The United Strip Provinces Defense Force. It's Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's a long name. USPDF. Price. I would recommend that you come very quickly to your senses because you have two mechs, one of which is a nuclear bomb and the other is armed with nuclear tip missiles, both heading to your reactor. I have full control of this ship, that is, unless you want to blow up. I recommend not listening to your captain, who was the one who attempted insubordination to begin with. And as much as I understand that you probably appreciate the man they probably don't i would recommend that you do the same thing which has a better chance of getting paid this is your captain speaking his we assets do not... are hereby seized we, we do not negotiate with terrorists she is part of a paramilitary organization this us pdf this is the first time you're hearing of it yeah I'm pretty cool trying to, get an, trying to get moral lessons from a fucking pirate can I try to take control of the ship? <laughs> <laughs> second time the charm, second time the charm. Yeah, you may in just a moment. It is at this point, he's like, we are activating our cleansing fire protocol. Sentinels, please, any crew members that wish to live, please stay inside of your dorms. He oh, has sentinels oh, too. Okay. Good up, everyone. 
Make sure your shoots are sealed and set the temperature control, people. Oh. We're gonna be on a fucking off walk on this one. I go look for a dropship. This is going very south very fast. It doesn't, it doesn't, first. It doesn't take you very long to find your dropship, but you notice that uh, it is indeed surrounded by sentinels patrolling around. <laughs> These sentinels look uh, very familiar, though. They're, they're very humanoid sentinels. No. I go up to one and Don't slap do it. Don't do this. You, you actually just run Don't up to one this. and slap it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they are the old ones. Override. <laughs> Override accepted. Fucking balls on you. All right. I go Happy around slapping sentinels and putting Happy them slapping. on Shoot any pirate you see is the command I give them. Shoot, shoot any... How do we identify pirates? Please specify. Uh... Anyone that's not part of our group. What? What is our group? Oh uh, no! Oh no! Do I have my biometric data of these five people? Or... Yeah, yes, you do have the biometric yes, data. Yes, I do. I just give it biometric to you. data. Of the... You might as well cover anybody we managed to grab back from the deck. That's it. Play feed their data to it as well. Directive acknowledged. Please. Having a murder. Please slap to confirm. Mm. Slap. Directive now being executed. Slap, 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 accept my control, accept my control, accept my control. <laughs> oh my god. Over the, over the ship's intercom. But yeah, uh, can I try to do the take control now? Yes, you can try to take control now because you now have a way in. Yes. That is significantly better. Significantly <clears throat> better. You managed to take over the Sentinel network at the bare minimum. Not the full ship system, oh, nice. but you have access to the Sentinels. I kind of knock on the bulkhead and I say, I have control of the Sentinel network. Surrender now. Ha, you fool! You think we would use... We have your reactor. We have your Sentinels. You think we would there use is no foreign... good way out of this for you. Is there? Is there not? I mean, for us, we can just load up onto our dropship, leave, and blow your ship up. Not if we do that first. You hear escape pods being launched at this point. Oh. You know, hey. Can you hey, quickly have, turn have you ever heard of reactor? swatting flies, Angel? Yeah. I feel like swatting a couple right now. How about you? Yes, yeah, I can get sick of the fucking population around here. Really, really fucking sick. Pirates be pirates. Yep. The, the strip is the strip. Yes. How thick is this bulkhead? How thick is this bulkhead? Hmm. How, how does one put this? How does one put this? Not very. It, it's thick enough to deal with Can small I cut it fire. open with my sword? Uh, I'm I'm work I I I'm getting the fucking arm, I'm getting on fucking plasma cutter cutter duty, I'm fucking cutting a hole in. Might as well. Would you like me to roll for that? Yeah, go for it. Can I just you... my charge? <laughs> can, can my sword cut through it? Actually, well, I mean, hmm, the thermite charge might be overkill on this. Not to mention, an explosion in enclosed space is not exactly healthy for all of us. Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. You reckon this would be part of a hacker fix? This would be kind of like a, just yeah, a sabotage on a fucking this thing? This would be a hacker fix, yeah. All right. Do you need an assist? Uh, a bit late for it. It's alright. Uh, you, you carved enough of a peephole. Hmm. Hey, you reckon you can flood the nanomachine through the peephole here? There is a gun barrel pointing through the peephole. Shit! Jam my hand on it. <laughs> your hand is fired <laughs> upon. There, there is a, there is a hole. In, there is a hole in your hand. You know the other one, right? The one that's made of metal. Ah, then yes. In that case, you feel a you feel a burn, an impact and a burn. Shit! Put on the fucking. I think he is slightly singed. Christ! <laughs> Let's look at my palm. It's like a black mark, a little, little dent. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, a little bit, a uh, little bit about her. It's fine. I put my. I I just grab Suso on the shoulder. 
Hey, you remember what the diamond did to those guys, to the poor guys in the cunt earlier? They're stuck in a yeah, room. Just, just, just see my like face just turn to a frown. <laughs> They're trying to kill us, Suiso. And quite frankly, I'm fucking sick of having to deal with pirates. Uh, what's it called? How small is the uh the how small is the hole? Let's see. When's the last time you played R six? <laughs> <laughs> no, we were just talking no! about this earlier. You fucked. Oh, no! <laughs> Fuck. Come on, I did pixel, say. Pixel, I did pixel, say. Pixel, anyway. pixel, pixel, pixel. Yeah, it, it is. Fix it, 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 fix Oh god. Pioneer fucking right, people. So I can't so I can't fit a frag grenade into it. Probably not, no. Uh... Get the crown of shit diamonds. <laughs> Would you like to test hmm. the diamonds capabilities? Uh... Seriously, they're pirates, not people. Alright. Alright. I guess I it was a call. It was a call, so how do I do <laughs> I uh try to uh communicate to the to the crowd with my thoughts. <laughs> uh-huh, what are you asking for? Those are pizza with mud. Yes, pizza time. <laughs> 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 uh as I call the uh What you want the diamond? Diamond's a shield. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I thought so it's like I'm guessing it's probably like the club. All right. Is it the club. Yeah, club's the one you want for uh... uh This is a bit of a kill, though. Come on, main character, fucking work. Very <laughs> 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 least, if you don't want to fucking kill them, at least strip them of any fucking usefulness they can do in there. Actually, hmm. You know what? You know what? Instead, right? Um. So you, uh, you know the the, the hole, right? Yep. As uh. I slap my keys right into the hole, right, uh -huh. and uh, configure it into a portable uh, light nexus and fire the nano the machine swarm into the room. Oh god. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, well, it's just on. a more horrifying version of Fuse. You hear a lot of screaming on the other side. Dunk, 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 the dunk. hostage has been slayed. Nah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> the hostage has been killed. <laughs> but nah, nah. You, you hear a lot of screaming from the other side. Uh, they uh, attempt to seal up the hole as well on their end, but uh, no one is exactly quick enough. It is dead silent on the other side after oh a time. Oh god, sweet liberty! <laughs> the bridge is under our control! <laughs> well, it's still gonna have the door open. Alright, would any of you like to try to get the door open in that case? Let's try the panel, I guess. See, there's an override on the outside. The panel is one of the most rudimentary panels you've seen in a while. It is just a nine-digit entry panel. No fancy biometrics, nothing. Just the most analog shit you've seen in years. What button? What button? What numbers look the most smudged? One, sm uh, smudged and one. <laughs> one, 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 one. Only one, uh, realistically speaking. One, 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 uh, one. <laughs> The bulkhead opens. Huh. Maybe that actually work. On the well, other side guess. is uh, a scene of carnage. You uh, see a whole bunch of uh, crew members in various shapes and sizes in complete and total disrepair. Some of them are missing arms, some of them are missing legs. Others are still being chewed on. Uh, you get the idea. It's a stellar work. <laughs> oh boy. Please, no! I don't want to become a machine! You, you watch <laughs> as this fella is slowly consumed and eaten up by nano machines. His haunted, right. his haunted expression is burnt into your retinas. Among all the other horrific things we've experienced so far. Yep. This one come back to bite us later on. Alright. Surely. 
No, no, let's see what we can fucking do for my people before they decide to blow the ship up. Aside from that, you notice that one of the uh, one of the ventilation shafts panels, access panels, has been removed. Well, somebody. And their uh, captain is nowhere to be seen. Ah, the little rat! Fuck! The little rat decided to run. <clears throat> Great. <sighs> Oh, Let's see if we can access really anything feels like right something here. Flies. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we can. Is uh, I assume if it isn't locked down, and see what I can get access to on the bridge currently. Mm -hmm. Well, you find the Sentinel control system, and you notice that they're pretty much ninety nine percent done with the cleansing fire protocol. Mm, terrific. That means a good majority of people on the ship are fucking dead. Yeah. That's crazy. Friendly fire will not be tolerated. <laughs> the very like, high yeah. majority of people are dead at this point. There are several hold up in the more uh, cabin or crew kind of quarters, but uh, aside from that, mostly dead. Burnt bots. It sent a deja vu here. All right, I guess we're basic. Uh, any readouts or anything that are major concern? Any big flashing lights, status reports on the dials and readouts? Let's see. There's a broad, it's broad spectrum transmission currently going out. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Oh, let's check it. Origin is from the Kaiser Super Destroyer. Hey, you. Super Are you kidding me? Super Destroyer mentioned! Super Destroyer command. <laughs> da, 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 da. Right. <laughs> Sorry, the brain will took over. Yep. Anyhow, the broadcast simply reads Several people have been, or several units have been identified for treasonous actions against our great Kaiser. The throne will not stand for this. Their bounty has been raised to several billion. Any and all uh, information will be rewarded with a fair sum in chips. It is in your best. That much. It is your best in is in your best interest to arrest these fugitives, prostrate them in front of the great Kaiser, and uh, be rewarded for your service to the crown. Do note, these fugitives are armed and highly dangerous. I just kind of glance over towards Suiso. Uh, you can see that I'm, uh, what's it called? There's, there's still a front of my face and I'm a lot more fidgety, I guess. We'll have to see with the talk of the fucking strip again. Mm. Alright. Well, we're probably going to be out of fucking friends and out of luck on anything, so... Shit. Oh. Where do we go from here? That How is that... a good question. What do we do from here? So, so the voices in your head simply come up with the, uh... The crown they speak of is a false crown. You have the true crown. Uh, I just uh remain silent at that uh at that uh, revelation. I just remain silent. <laughs> oh at <God>. it. <laughs> uh, why have I got myself into? Bro, 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 bro. <laughs> he doesn't even doesn't even flinch. Just decides. Nope, nope, <laughs> nope, 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 not 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 my thing. Not nah. my thing. Not my. I find dream. something low key to get around. It's gonna be hard to do that on a strip, especially on a ship like this. Uh, I'll uh, if you need me, I'll uh, I'm going out for a walk as I like you know leave the bridge. Going out for? Fuck you, mean going out for a walk? Where the fuck are you going? What the fuck, sake? Mm, you see me like Kaiser... away. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Why is he so acting so can? So suspicious. Someone keep an eye on Sleek though. Yeah. Just fucking walk in, but just fucking follow the fucking bastard. <laughs> no point splitting up in a ship full of fucking pirates. Doesn't matter if half of them have turned into fucking black and charred. Oh, 
try to fix the bridge meanwhile. Yep, you look through the bridge, apart from the screams and the dying, uh, most of it's intact. Danny down. Danny Actually, pretty uh, I'm back. Mm -hmm. I'm back. Now, if you, if you want to check... Back. Do, you, do you wish to uplink with the militant faith, then? Yes. All right, you uh, touch the control panel. You hear a click. What kind of click? Hmm. The, the kind that comes from those kinds of things you bury in the ground. Son of a bitch. Okay, what's wrong? You, you get the feeling that if you move your hand off of the panel, something might detonate. Get oh, well. so here. And try race so on the combi on the, on the little on the combi. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> on the combi on the on the little frequency. Suiso, where'd you go? We need you up by the bridge. Uh you hear a uh, Suiso just uh, seemingly uh talking to himself. You hear I was got him saying like the fuck you want. crying no, dot no. FX. No, the fuck you want. And... Negotiation. <laughs> I never wanted this. <laughs> Much negotiation. Followed by uh, some uh, sound of uh, was like me hitting my fist on uh, you know, the walls. <laughs> I'm trying to call Suiso. Do 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 do. I answer the call. Why is it? Can you please come to the bridge? I think that I have my hand on a booby trap terminal, and if I move it away, something will explode. Uh, just a small, slight pause. All right, how my way? On my way as I uh, end the call and uh, kind of uh, attempt to smack the crown off my head. <laughs> you try to rip the crown off. The crown has already uh, integrated itself into your uh, skull at this point. Uh, it is a part of you, as you are a part of it now. Uh, that that uh, that thing me. refuses to come off, basically. Mhm. Mm At, I think we be the bridge. Yep, All you right. arrive at the bridge. Returned at the bridge. You you see Angel awkwardly standing at the uh, ship's interface. With a hand a pressed on the biometric scanner. Got a pop it on her hand underneath that. Oh boy. I try to work on it, but I think uh, I think your machines might be a bit more accurate than I would be on this uh, on this part. Alright, I think well, I look at it, the, observation. Uh, the, the biometric scanner, what, what, what does it look like? What's it look like? Yeah, you notice pretty quickly that it's just a cleverly disguised pressure plate followed by a couple of kill switches, finally followed by a little landmine underneath the person's feet. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh... How lucky and amazing we, is our day? Should we try a? <laughs> you want to try a bait and switch the mechanism or the bait switch? <laughs> well, on one hand, bait and switch doesn't mean it'll work. It could just go off as soon as a like. As soon as a difference as in soon pressure as it, is detected. Exactly, exactly. It, it was a very audible click, the kind you hear where you're like, "Oh, you fucked up." Uh huh. Mm. So it's very much get... set in. You're hitting us with a fucking trap chest dungeon trap shit, bro. Uh, I swear, I knew there was a grimoire. <laughs> <laughs> Christ. Uh, let me see my pilot skills real quick. At this point, I'll just check in, check in with dog. So, uh, what's the situation over there? Is there any activity in the hangar still, or are we looking at a fucking ghost ship right now? Let's see, as you check in with the others, let's see... When it comes to Danny and Alan, you, you've noticed that the uh, Sentinels have completed their task at this point, and are kind of just idling around. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. There hmm. they await new command and new correspondence. Can I uh, attempt a heckle fix to disarm? 
the the bomb. Yeah, sure. Let, let me know how exactly you're trying this, by the way. Oh my. So, okay, so if I remember correctly, what's it called? You want to say earlier, right? It's pretty much just the oppressor switch connected to the landmine below where Angel is standing right now. Yep, and a bunch of kill switches in the way. Oh god, it's a kill switch as well. Let's see, you ever watch Mad Max Fury Road? Oh, dude, it was like long time ago, bro. <laughs> it's a very long time ago. How, how does one say to start driving the war rig? You needed to uh, press a bunch of switches in order. Same concept. All right. All right. Uh, I'll just do the rule first. Uh, I'll just do the rule first and. Sure. Uh... Hmm. Kind of mm. analog, kind of to assist uh, with this. I end up cutting the blue wire. <laughs> you you uh, go through the switches and all that. You unfortunately press down on the biometric scanner as well, and you hear a click of your own. Wait, is there multiple uh, biometric scanners? No, you're just when you're fiddling around with the panel and trying to work your way to the rest of the switches, you hear a click. Good ah, news! I want simple. to hear good news! <laughs> Disarming click, right? Good news! <laughs> By the second click, I don't think we're in good news. Both of you are now stuck there. Hmm. Think, think the of it like the, uh, Why am I stuck with the babe character again? How, how does one put it? It's the most awkward game of Twister right now. <laughs> Great. Doesn't he have an entire I have very deathbed expression. <laughs> uh, yes, the uh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Good luck. Uh, uh, look how hot suit is uh, Angel wearing right now. Can you at least bring up a whole screen and play some Gundam? <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Anything. All right. You, well, uh, you, you get a call on the see. terminal in front of you. Uh, do 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 do. Do either of you uh, try to pick it up? Captain, eh? I guess Where's I'll pick it from? up. Yeah. I press the answer button. Langhart answers it. Hello, this is your former captain speaking. Uh, I see you found my kill switch. Triangulate his position. Uh -huh. Yeah, very prepared you were. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, not the first mutiny I've dealt with. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So, uh, are you calling to gloat or you calling to a purpose otherwise, huh? He is dead. He is dead. <laughs> that man is dead. He just doesn't know it. I attempt to triangulate <laughs> his position. Each and every call. one of your belongings, including the mechs. Let's get this. <sighs> Are you? Are you? Are you fucking deaf? No, I don't think so. Your captain's life is in my hands. Can I, mean... I fire off a missile at his location through my mech? If you can triangulate it first off, then let's see, Maggie, roll me to triangulate. Just a flat d20, unless you have any relevant flat skills to it. I don't think so. That's good. Oh, you get his position. It's behind some debris, actually. Just not very far off either. Still within wireless network range. I am checking two large missiles at him. Is that the orders you send to your send to your mech? Mech, yep. There's a transmission back. It's just, hey, 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 that's not a very smart idea right now. Oh. What the hell worse than this shit, you fucking asshole? Look, 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 look. your fucking it, bullshit. It, it, you know the idea of kill switches? Well, have you heard of the dead man switch as well? If, uh, I, uh, if I die. Can you confirm uh, whether or not there is a dead man switch on this terminal? Wife. Let's see. Uh, after, you, 
Let's there an see. access panel? Let's see. If you want to, if you want proof of the dead man switch, just uh, open the panel down the bottom, underneath the console. You know, I thought I thought for mine to believe that your your fucking ass has decided. Oh, I'll put another trap as soon as I open the panel. They want to investigate something as well, huh? No, no, no nothing of the sort. A pirate, a uh, man of his word, you know? Say so? Yeah. The diamond is an indestructible shield, right? Can you just make a shield bubble around the two of us? Uh, there is that possibility, yes. You can see there's like a hesitance. Uh, like There's some hesitance on my face. I just say in a low vo uh, in like a, you know, lower voice, right? Do you trust me? Hey, if you can't make a bubble, at least make a little, you know, little, little shield on the bottom, Maria. I, uh, tell maybe, the, uh, Maybe replace the, the pressure to, from uh, our body with the diamond? I tell the other, I tell the others to, uh, who are, to, uh, back away, give it, like, you know, give the an like, a white buff. All right. Back up to the hallway, more or less, then in duck and cover. Yep. Mm. Uh... Why not contain the entire uh, into the bubble shield? Yeah, that's actually better. better. That might be a better idea, honestly. Yeah, contain the explosive device in the shield. All right, how would you like to go about this? I, I, I have a I have a different plan. Uh, oh, oh god! I use the uh, augmented strength of the heavy heart suit to quickly uh, push Angel into the hallway. Uh huh. Huh. And uh, let the bomb detonate. Huh. huh. Yes. Hey. He wants uh, to be the hero. Main fucking character. Will the, uh, will the, uh, will the uh, console of nano machines intervene? <laughs> oh, you want to test this? Uh, yes. <laughs> you're, you're testing if they actually want to keep you alive or not. Okay. Yes. That's fucking crazy. We were all thinking about serious ways of fixing the situation, and Cecil's so just like. Yeah, let's do something main cool. Let's <laughs> main character. Do, do you, <laughs> some crazy see. shit. He's literally the main character, yeah. Let's see, Angel, do you refuse the push or do you take the push? If I refuse the push, it blows up on me too. And the Leno <laughs> machines have no obligation to save me. <laughs> no, I do not refuse the push. You go, you go flying with a surprising amount of force out into the hallway. You were just meleeed in hell mode too. You, you hear... Well, I am not. I'm still alive. That's good. You hear a click and then nothing. I was bluffing the whole time. Oh, great. So, so you feel something is stabbed call. through your foot. <laughs> <laughs> foot spike, I foot just call. Foot spike, foot spike. That like, asshole. Like, like just a. I call that pirate asshole. You're Bing. dead. What's the... What's what getting dead. through my foot? Just like a big steak. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just a flat spike, no explosives. Yeah, yeah, just a... Oh, one... God damn. Just like a singular... What a, a singular steak has pierced through your foot and un up to underneath your chin, basically. Yeah. Shit. Cheapskate. Oh, okay. Oh. Can, can I... Can I blow the cup two. up? Meanwhile, the two missiles tracking towards the pirate's position. <laughs> <laughs> Aggressively tracking his position, yes. As you have triangulated the position earlier, the shot makes it. It is very accurate, even. That is very good. The, the man's mech... Fuck that dude. The man's mech is blown to smithereens. A swipe. Alright. Move for life. Finally. Never trust a pirate ever again. You've been backstabbed by about four or five pirates at this point. <laughs> I'm going to fucking... The strip is literally made of pirates. Remind, yeah? Reminder the reason Turn us into you, fucking uh, privateers then, why don't you? Re reminder the Not reason you had, uh, you had a super carrier to begin with and your marketing Shh. pitch. Mm. Yeah. Get in the water. I missed that shit. Honestly, it's, we should it, probably try to go back to the Ross Foundation planet. Uh, well, I hate to say it, but uh, that head's cut off now. Ever since, uh, you know, Ross bought the farm. It's going to be a... Uh, and, uh, you know, Kaiser's broadcasting that shit probably throughout the system, any, throughout the entire strip, so... 
Uh, I'd probably uh, say it's a best well? idea. Yeah. I mean, uh, at least, I mean, the Ross is gone, right? Yep, the Ross is dead. Yeah. B Ross is gone, but our, our, the guy who decided to be in our corner and you know help us out from our jarring problem is gone. We can't. I. I don't think we can trust any of the guys at the Ross Foundation the anymore. Technically, we are the highest ranking people in the Ross Foundation now. I don't. I uh, don't recall any. Uh, any possible you leadership. You remember how we did the Canada project? Oh, I mean that's. Canada project is one thing, but. Uh, the whole foundation could be another fucking power problem. Not quite. There is a bit of a power vacuum, and one thing you might realize is the uh, many, many children of Ross may be uh, attempting to seize control currently. Ross and his Rosslings. Basically. <laughs> to, be fair, Rosslings. to be fair, you had one of them on your casino ship, even. Had. Had. Yep. Paste. Garrett, oh, well. It's a Garrett, though. The curse of Garrett. You may remember, a, ca a Garrett finds it very difficult to perish. Can we still find his biometric data? You, uh, how, how does one put it? It's on the ship with you. Shit. Seriously? Where is he? Let's see. Would you like to keep scanning around until you find it? Would you like to ping yes. it, rather? Yes. You, you ping the Garrett biometrics, you find that they're in the cargo bay. With the rest of your max. Nah, don't like this one bit. Is it like stuck on the foot of my mech? No, 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 it's... <laughs> Step on a, <laughs> that's a little puddle of Garrett, it's stuck on your shoe. It, it, it's with, you it's it with Maggie's mech. Oh? Oh no! Oh, oh no! My mech. Oh no! You, you check your mech. You find, you dig through the mech's uh, storage compartments and all that until eventually you find a singular bag. No 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 don't. Don't touch that. Don't. What is this? Do not. I do not touch that. I don't even want to fucking explain to you what's what happened with that fucking bag. Just. What? Just. So among among the no. uh, belongings of uh, four, you find the. Uh, yes, you find a ball of duct tape, roughly the size of a human head. Also, also a certain the laser device. The most disturbing things your DM can say. <laughs> also, a, also a small laser device in a certain I shape. Don't worry about it. I forgot it's, about that. It's the laser butt plug. <laughs> the laser butt plug. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Don't even. You know what? Just let Sleeping Dogs Eye leave. That's what it is. It's uh, uh the, the, the book. The book is closed. The chapter is closed, and that end. Don't even bother. It's a Please very get powerful it off artifact. My <laughs> I want to get off Mr. Garrett's wild ride. <laughs> <laughs> Disinfected. <laughs> Disinfected. The uh, ball of duct tape starts to move. Oh god, no! no. It, no. It, it, it's kind of what kicking around. I wrap it even more duct tape. You, you hear a lot of squirming fix and it. screaming. Fix it, 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 fix it. I put it in a box. You, you put I it close. in a box? You close the box. I lock the box. You lock the box. I duct tape the box. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Okay. That should keep him. For now. Hopefully. Alright. Back to present fucking issues. What the fuck are we going to do now? We gotta find a place. We gotta <laughs> find somewhere that we can fucking you need hide out power. while we. Does and uh, I'll be honest. I know it's, uh, pirates are uh, more than likely to fucking fuck us over anything. Yeah, yeah. no. Let's work on what we got never... here. Hibiscus okay. is gone. How many jarling employees can we gather? Very unknown. Very difficult to tell in this case. Let's pick up as many jarling survivors as we can and Ross survivors from the orbit. And oh. then fuck off from here.
I don't even know if we can even trust them. As you, as you probably speaking, can't. Uh, uh, as you're speaking, yes, the planet is being glassed underneath of you. Shit. The process has begun. Shit, we're running out of time then. Hmm. Oh, to fucking go down to the planet's surface when it's coming on like that. Uh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Look back what we got here. Would you like to gather the scattered signals? Yeah. And yeah. Let's we'll see what's... Uh, see what we can find, I guess. Also, I think we will start executing pirates on the spot if no one has any complaints about that. <laughs> no complaints. No complaints here. After the number of pirates that have betrayed you, I am not surprised at this point. <laughs> death. Total pirate death. Total pirate death. Roundhouse kick, roundhouse kick a pirate in the, sh in the stomach. There is... As you collect members of the Foundation, both Foundations and all that, you eventually stumble across one signal that you uh, swore you heard during the whole combat, but never really managed to confirm. It was among the uh, eight factions vying for Centauri at the time. However, this one now directly hails you. What's it read? What's it read? Polaris Shipping Company. Huh. 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 Uh, what's the worst that could happen? They mail us a fucking bomb? If you... Well, Angel, it's a phone call. Well, let's accept the phone call. You accept the phone call from the Polaris Shipping Company. Oh, so it is true. You are the captain. You look upon Indeed. You look upon one of your old colleagues from the military days. In a good way or a bad way? This is the one that ratted you out. <laughs> this one's uh, the you reason. You mean ratted out that I didn't Do you mean the one that which fabricated the claim, which got me, you know, court-martialed and here. branded a war criminal? Yes. Nice. You piece of shit. Oh, me? A piece of shit? You're the war criminal here. You branded me as a fucking war criminal. I refuse to fire on civilians. Oh, civilians. You know very well they were guilty as much as I do. I just kind of point over to the party. Okay, now you at least know I'm not a war criminal. Look, look. That when, man is the reason. Look, when Polaris was trying to take over the strip, you hesitated, and that that costed us this war. What do you want from me? Well, I believe you're in possession of a. Uh... Certain few artifacts, according to uh, field intel. Yeah, and thanks to those artifacts, you guys can't do shit here. Oh, hmm. I don't know about that. They're not in. They're not in the possession of the Kaiser this time. So you know, they're not being used by United Front of any kind. Mm hmm. In this case, hmm, how does one say I could uh, signal the shipping company at home and we could wash over this strip like it's nothing. Are you sure you really want to do that? I say as I kind of point around me at mm. the strip, like, you know. But let me give you a counter offer. What would you say as uh, the exiled and branded and court-martialed captain were able to uh, restore her honor, so to speak? Deliver onto the company what she had failed to all those years ago. Hmm. 
I would have to first of all discuss this with my crew and secondly can I actually trust you because you did not prove to be very trustworthy the last time. Oh please, I was your adjutant for the past how many years at this point? Decades even. I only reported you because you were committing insubordination against the company. But here you are, another opportunity to work with I the company. I don't want to fire on civilians and I am not betraying my principles. I knew know that damn well. Oh yeah, I knew that damn well. That's why we never got anything done. I kind of like, you know, turn off the microphone and look at the rest of the party. Uh-huh. Do you see what I'm dealing with? Do you see why I ended up here? I've got to deal with this shit. What is what is this company even? How how powerful is it? It is one of the big three factions outside of the strip. One of the um, three. Kaiser without those artifacts which are presently in Suiso can't stop them. Hmm. Oh, hey, Taika. They it's can right. feel it's the right. capital ship for every single frigate Kaiser has. Let's put it that way. Probably several. Hmm. Have we made contact with the other two before? Let's Polaris. see. Uh, but... Polaris, you haven't. Whiskey has a history of Polaris. However, with Yggdrasil, yep. you've made contact with uh, Yggdrasil cyborgs before. Yeah, do still have the uh, Jarling be their uh, little mole puppet yep. earlier? Yeah. All the reason why he prepared us originally to find these uh, the artifacts here, and well, Jarling is no longer in this world because of uh, seductions. Yep. Taken out oh. by one of them cyborgs as well. Mm-hmm. So, which faction out of the three would we say we like the most? Our, uh, I murder. mean, Yggdrasil are murdering psychopaths, Polaris are murdering psychopaths, and oh, the final one are probably also murdering psychopaths. Oh, they're, pre they're pretty normal, actually. <laughs> Which one? Which one? Let's see. Hmm, I forgot what, exactly what I named them, but the closest concept was the Bloom Federation. They're a tech utopia, basically. Tech Utopia, I see. So it sounds like they'd be kind of up the alley of enjoying the powers of nanotechnology. Especially on this scale. Mm. What kind of government system are they on? Let's see, what kind of government system are they on? Uh, eternal dictatorship. <laughs> ah. That's not democratic. <laughs> They're, uh... <laughs> Their leader hasn't died. <laughs> their leader hasn't quote unquote died in over two millennia. Stagnant utopia. <laughs> Basically. Stagnant yeah. utopia. Basically, yeah, stagnant utopia is what you're dealing with if you side with that. I hear the sounds of an alpha core. I I read about about a stagnant utopia from FGO. <laughs> Man, it's the Stellaris. How, how, how does that say? Breaks who sit in their system and never do anything. Yeah, how, how does one say? Attempting to communicate with these guys is a test of patience. <laughs> so they are the only civilization here that has hit post scarcity. Oh boy. Oh. Huh. The last time I had to uh, deal with a stagnant utopia was in FGO where we ended that timeline. Oh god. <laughs> 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 Screaming. But, Man, that is not nice, yeah. But uh, yes, you continue hearing from the other side. I'm waiting, Captain. Uh, I will... You know my opinion, but what is your opinion on Polaris? My, my opinion on Polaris? You would... No, 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 I'm asking... The rest of Still the party. Still off the call, yeah, the rest of the party. Because I'm pretty sure that most of you will say no. They tried to kill us. This is going to keep trying to kill us. They will. They absolutely will. So it doesn't sound like we'll be in agreement in uh, trying to get anything to go work with them. 
Is the uh, hmm. is the crown whispering any sweet little lies in my head about Polaris? <laughs> tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. Uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's basically telling you. No, this is not the way. <laughs> this ain't it, Chief. Don't give us up to Polaris. You, you give us up to Polaris, they'll put their own immortal emperor on the throne, not you. You uh, audibly click my tongue on at that mention. Well, I suppose we are in agreement about telling Polaris to go and stick it to themselves. Press the mute button on the fucking on the transmit. <laughs> just, right. just end the call. <laughs> just end the call. <laughs> I send him a single note. Mm -hmm. Nuts. And end the call. <laughs> <laughs> Can I fire on his ship? There is a high-powered energy signature from several I thousand... I fire on his ship. ...from several thousand miles away. Rep evasive maneuvers. Evasive no, maneuvers, a... and I would also like my mech to start firing missiles at it. Oh, God. As the energy signature builds up and eventually fires, you don't feel... What's to call it? A large heat. You don't see a large heat source coming towards you. You mm -hmm. see a solid slug. Shit! Can you use the diamond on this one? It's in interest of the crowd, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to manifest the diamond to protect the ship? Uh, what's that called? I'll let the uh, the crown do it on its own. <laughs> You'll let the crown do it on its own. The, the crown doesn't stop the slug. The slug, uh, the slug tears off one of the ship's wings. Oh Shit. boy. We didn't need it anyways. Decorative feature. Yeah, that de de decorative feature. The only thing that that would have given you is stability and or stability in descent, but that is about it. Because we're not planning on landing anywhere soon. Does the ship have any weapons? Does the ship have any weapons? Would you like to check through the arsenal? Yes. You, you do a quick, the gunnery station looks like. You do a quick scan through the arsenal. Uh, this thing is... Mm, how does one put this? Not the brightest banana in the bunch. It, it, it is a converted merchant ship as far as you're concerned. Oh, great. Lovely. What's Lots of space, no elements, retrofitted, piece of shit. Basically, uh, piece of shit. It is smaller than your standard destroyer. Uh, it is fucking... smaller than your standard... Well, I think... It's... Can I put the planet between me and them? As we lug the missiles from our back? You potentially could. How does one say? The size of your ship is a corvette, basically. It, it is. Yeah, I, I'd like to move to put the planet oh, between oh, us and them. Alternatively, we could charge their ship and then attempt to board it. Actually, I like that plan. It's a crazy yeah. fucking I idea. Think, okay, look, their ship looks better than our ship. Uh -huh. <laughs> How about we just ship, thank huh? you? Mm -hmm. Fucking crazy. But you know what? We've done a lot of crazy shit already. Why not? Oh, okay. God. Quick question. Mm -hmm. So you know how I have the flicker field projector, right? Mm -hmm. Would any of the eggheads aboard the ship right now know how to put the flicker field on this Corvette? You know, I had to create the idea kind of uh, pass through my mind for a second. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the minimum distance of being dialed on an FTL drive? Minimum distance oh, on an FTL. <laughs> So essentially, we want to thread the needle, right? If thread the needle, get as close as we can in an instant. The more distance okay. we have to cover over through, through actual just space. To standard travel means the more time it's going to hit us, so the less time we spend in that instance. Yeah, let's like, try uh... to feel jump towards him. If it rips the ship's engines apart, well, we are gambling anyways. There, there is no minimum distance, just that once you shoot it, it will need time to recharge. Well, I'd like to tread the needle and try to jump as close to the rear of his ship as possible. For simple reference, you're running what the What do I roll? Let's see. 
Oh, by the way, for simple reference, you are running the space equivalent of this thing. Currently. Oh, fucking Same. hell. Jesus Christ, dude. Let's <laughs> see. Do you do you have any piloting related skills, basically, in this case? Oh! If only Ogata was here. If only Ogata was, was here. If only Ogata was here. I'm literally... I'm, I'm literally the ship. former fighter pilot and ship commander. I think I would know this. 20 with accuracy. Well, D20 with accuracy. Go for it. Okay. Like, I have Ooh. stay cool, I guess, would be the closest right now. Yeah, you can, can stay cool for this one. Can I take a quick look at the scanners and see what it looks like within that general region to make sure we're not about to jump into a fucking gun line? Oh, an asteroid. Oh. This, this is actually pretty good. It is. Finally a decent roll. It is a nasty debris <coughs> field. It's a nasty debris field they're hiding in right now. Yep. So is it only like, are we only pinging off of one right now? Yeah, there's only the single Polaris vessel. Oh, we got the gamble on the fact that he's not hiding a fleet in a debris field and not getting shredded upon departure. But, well, we to play by the same rules we were in there. Let's see if I manage to thread the needle. Ah. Goodbye to tea, it's been nice knowing you all. Jump. Yep. For simple Go. reference, you are up against the equivalent of this in space. What? <laughs> That's crazy. If you know what Let's ship that go. is in comparison, Yo, what? Uh, yes. Uh, that is a Congo. Yes, that right? is a Congo. And the first one was a Hashidate. So, uh... <laughs> yeah. It's a real David versus Goliath kind of thing. You, but you thread, know what? You thread the needle. Well, the thing is. Mm -hmm. The thing is, the thing which we are actually going to use to fight this is the space equivalent uh, comparing to the Congo <laughs> of this. <laughs> <laughs> the Hashidate does not need to survive this fight. <laughs> the, the, militant, the, the, militant, the militant faith just needs to believe long enough. We just have to have yeah. the mat. We have the mass. Okay. That aside, how successful is our jump with a 22? Very successful. Needlessly successful. You have landed in the blind spot. Nice. However, you are still. Ladies and gentlemen, we are launching. You are still going full throttle, though. It's okay, uh, the ship can start braking, we just need to launch in our max. Get that e-brake, baby. <laughs> now there is no... E-brake as we are launching. Now, there's no real human crew remaining, so to speak. Just, uh, sentinels and a certain dick best still stuck in the cafeteria. Well... <laughs> the sentinels can set the ship... Well, again, we'll slam the brakes and launch. The link of it will puzzle. eventually stop. It will eventually it stop. It will eventually stop. Uh, all right. You arrive with your mechs, or you're you're in launch position for your mechs. However, the momentum your ship is carrying hasn't exactly uh, slowed down by much. It's okay. We are in the blind spot. We can just sneak up on them. I mean... It's less of a sneak and more of a. Uh, how does one put it? Bow of ship. Bang. It is a very vicious ram. Oh, so we ah. rammed the blind spot of their ship. Yes. You, you, you see that funny? Well, you, fu you see that funny superstructure? Yeah, maybe not existing as much currently. Well, it's okay. A the damage that can be repaired. Let's just board. Oh, well, there's our breaking. There's our breaking fucking maneuver. You see, do you want... <laughs> this is the ship combat equivalent of me looking at this fucker and going this. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. But yeah, there, but there yes. is a clear breaching spot you can go through at this point. Hey, hey! I even created us an entry point. But would you like to enter? Yep. With Max, oh of course. 
Oh, oh boy. Maybe we should have Cecil board. I, I hate the way you say that, Eco. I hate yeah. the way. Ah, oh, there's nothing wrong with that. Anyhow, anyhow. That's crazy. To be fair, it's not like we can do anything else at this point. We've committed. You burst uh -huh. through. We've committed. You burst through. Your blitz is, uh, how does one say, caught them very unaware at this point. They thought that you had uh, jumped to leave the system, not uh, jumped to uh, aggressively maneuver in their direction. You mean aggressively maneuver into their superstructure? Yeah. <laughs> you get one very panicked transmission coming from coming directly to you, Angel. Yes. Reckless as always, Captain, but uh, I'm I'm prepared for this. Yeah. We will flush you back this out. This is not how you spell surrender. No. I give him a middle finger. <laughs> no, it is not how you spell surrender. Not coming from you, at least. But you know what? Don't think the tide needs to surrender. You watch as uh, the automatons on board come to life. While none of them are exactly mech sized or pose quite as much of a threat there is a sheer number of them well considering that we did not enter combat yet uh -huh. i think that we can handle them i mean we do have a melee mech on our side right Artie? Who's you, you, you have two <laughs> melee setups on your side the question is, am I a... I'm playing fucking text people right now. Alright, it's a robot horde of your own. Yes, you kind of do. Sentinel... <laughs> it's just a... It's just fucking well, iRobot, bro. We also right? have our Sentinels, that is true. Would you like to send in uh, purging flame protocols as well? Yeah, against point. their mechs. Yes. I mean, against their Sentinels. You, you see, Persian Flame is very efficient on uh, Flash, but potentially not that efficient on other Sentinels. It's okay, they are chaff. Oh my god. Crunching metal, <laughs> crunch, crunching metal protocol. They have faces, they have personalities, you injected them with personalities. Oh, they're gonna fight like that. They're gonna fight, they're gonna fight like their lives are on the line. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. It is all out, all out war on this vessel, basically as you uh, attempt to hostile take over it. Your mechs receive minimal damage as you clear through the automatons on the way to what's left of the broken superstructure. Would you like to I find I'd like to go for the bridge, yes. Yeah. As usual, you encounter a bulkhead. I kick the bulkhead open with my mech. On the other side, you see... You see a very familiar captain with their arms in the air. Oh my! You do know how to surrender. Mm, I know when we're be. Order your crew to stand down. You watch as he does a couple of gestures in their direction and they all stand down. Very well. Uh, I'd say let's lock him up in the brick. Hmm, we can be more civilized than that. I can lock myself up, thank you very much. Quite frankly, after the one with open you gave us earlier with that little uh, opening shot, you know, I, uh... I trust whatever, what, whatever comes out of your fucking mouth. Hmm, you know the thing about railguns, by the way? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You, you know, it's two very big magnets strapped together. Basically. Uh huh. Hmm. So you, you, ever can, you ever consider if, what happens if someone just powers one on for no good reason? Do you know what happens when you are provoking people with several nano machine super weapons that are in the middle of your ship? Oh, I know, but even nano machines aren't immune to the pull of magnetism. 
I'm not sure if he really wants to do that, considering that he does have the same type of implants as me in his head. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, the batteries can sign to the fact that he's gonna die. And gonna oh, take I'm pretty with sure him. that the rail guns are probably in a position where they can't do this to the ship itself. Right, Eco? Wouldn't yeah. it just be poor design if they could just be spooled on like that? Uh, you see, you see, I wasn't necessarily talking about the rail guns themselves, necessarily. You, you know, magnetism's a funny little concept. Now, uh, if you think Polaris has been twiddling their thumbs for the past 50 or so years, 100 years even, knowing that the Strip has access to these nanomachines, you might be dead wrong. Do you really want me to detonate a missile here? Because if it's going to be a no-win scenario, I might as well take you with me. You feel your mech's legs crumple all of a sudden. I make sure that the mech crumples on him. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, how, how, do, how does one put this? You see that... Did you ever see a ketchup stain which was thoroughly squashed into the floor? And which from Mercury made sure of that, but anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> ah, let's yeah. laugh off the horrifically PTSD-inducing events. Yeah, anyhow, anyhow. Essentially what you see is the man's got some gloves on. Some very funky gloves on. Mm-hmm. Uh, wish it didn't come to this. After a crush, he then pushes your mech backwards. All right. What? Let us show you what the tide has been up to. I'd like to fire the the um, ace of clubs on him. All right. Would you like to wrap up the shot and fire? Yep. All right, do you wish to turn him into a fine mist in that case? Oh boy. Uh, we will have to patch up the hole, but yes. Because it feels like if I don't do this, um, this is going to cost us way more. Anyone else want to fire anything at him? Hmm, I have a Where is it? soul pattern laser rifle, energy based, might not do as much damage. But well, honestly, at, if I'm firing the ace of club, uh, the ace of clubs, everything else is going to be overkill. You might want to get some accuracy bonuses. Yeah. Get your legs. Can I? Well, I still got my NHP for rerolls. Yep. Your, your legs have been crumpled, but the rest of you is fine for now. And that is good hmm. to hear. But you know, you were a flyer to begin with. Who needed legs? Yeah, that's true. I've got my engines. Do you know what would be funny if I just ejected the fuel rod at him? Oh god. Yeah, that, w that, that would be pretty What if I hit him with Pinning Spire? Pinning Spire? You, you want to try it? Once again, anyone's free to step up to the plate currently. I don't know. Why exactly? It's like, you know, Pinning Spire is meant to be useless. Since the only this. CQB weapon I got is the fuel rod gun, I'm going to roll the fuel rod gun since I did not set up the CQB pistol yet. Oh boy. Not the guy with the pinning spire, basically. Okay. The friending. I assume that I'm taller it's than you still right now, right? Yeah, easily. It's, it's a dude. <laughs> it's a that means I get an accuracy from death. <laughs> I would like to lock on. That's the first quick action. Okay. Gives me a second accuracy, and I will get a reroll on this from Spotter. Oh, hey, yeah. Right. Yeah, that, that'll hit. That'll hit. Fomp. Fomp. The guy flinches for a moment but for some reason you see the energy being absorbed instead oh that was supposed to be uh the roll for the ace of clubs oh, for the ace of clubs in that case uh 
let's play out a slightly different scene. There is sheer panic on the man's face. As he notices the practically micro micronized a micronized railgun being fired at him. I essentially just pop up the cockpit, point it at him with a wide grin, and I say, yeah, railguns are cool. There is a level of concern as you see him almost block the round. Almost. Almost. You see the round slow down for a moment as it enters his magnetic field, only to uh, blitz clean through afterwards. What's the aftermath look like? Man's been bisected, his gloves are uh, going haywire, the, sh the bridge is uh, currently electrified. Shit. Can we somehow turn off the gloves? Let's see. You can try reaching for them. Maybe. I don't know how close I you will want to reach get. for them. I don't know, I'll say I can go for them. Is any actually okay? You're made <laughs> of metal, buddy. Your hand is made of metal, buddy. Ah, <laughs> don't, uh, don't worry about that. Just ground myself. Only one flesh Just rubber you. boots on. They'll be fine. Do you put rubber boots? I'll jump for them. <laughs> I'm jumping for them to it's gonna get say, them turned off. Quickly before I ask. Uh, do you happen to have manipulators installed on their uh their frames right Does now? Does anyone have manipulators? Ah, <laughs> uh, used to. Used to. Oh, yeah. yeah, so the guy. <laughs> Fuck. It's okay. I'll just I get, risk I get the conveniently long enough wooden stick and just start bashing the fucking clocks towards. It's me. okay. Luke. <laughs> I'm already next to him, anyways. You're already next okay. to it. You pick. You pick up the glove and it, uh, how does one say? The electric field shorts out your heart. How? Can I turn them off before I go unconscious or something? Pretty much the shorting out will cause them to go off, but yes. You, well, you are in cardiac arrest currently. Oh. Oh, no. Well. Someone the rest is up to you her. guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do we even have a medic? Fucking. Yeah. Uh, I got the medal on. She's got the fucking. Oh, shit, fucking idiot. I run over and. I, I'm already. I'm already over. I got the. I got the. I got the. I got the patch kit. I got the fucking corrective. I got everything. We're gonna fucking start. One, two, three, One, four. two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That, that's a lot of counting. Just on four, clear. <laughs> yeah, damn <it's> right. <laughs> so deep. There, there's a bit of a reaction. Yeah. You, you keep uh, going with the defib for a while. The the rest of the crew members standing around are kind of just like, bro, what the fuck? Yeah, this is what happens. How about you guys? Uh... Check out the rest of this shit, all right, and make sure we're not gonna get snuck up on by the rest of the fucking fuckheads on this ship. Yes, I <sighs> attempt to take control of the crew. Oh god, roll me the take control then. Take control, I my beloved. Take control, <laughs> take, control. Uh, take control, my beloved. Uh, just this flat d20 then. Fudge. Honestly, just restrain them first. Yeah, at least yeah, gather everyone on the bridge. Yeah, we'll restrain them instead. Just zip tie them all down. Just, just go by. Sorry about that. Have a cookie, have a zip tie. Yes, I give him a cookie as well. After eating a cookie, please zip tie yourself. <laughs> please, if there is any honor in you, zip tie yourself after this cookie. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, you no. should zip tie them with a cookie in their no, mouth. No, I, I just, I just yeah, 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 I just zip tie them with their hands behind their backs and then stuff a cookie in their mouth. <laughs> yeah. A, a couple of them are disturbed at this action. One of them has an allergic reaction as you do this, and the others are. <laughs> the, others are the, the others are mostly fine. Yes. Jab the one allergic guy with an EpiPen and give him a, a, a muffin instead. <laughs> Close enough. Anyhow, eventually you restore Angel from cardiac arrest. 
Sure. Wakey, wakey. Well, sure, I'm the one with the metal arm, but you're the one with the, 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 one with the bionic people. arm. <laughs> yeah. Don't, There's all the insane don't. people in this place. You know what? I'm sure you learned your lesson. I don't need to explain it to you. Unless you forgot what happened just a minute ago. If you want. I know what happened, but you see, it was necessary. Do you do you want to check your health readout? Yep. Uh, how does one don't say this? How, do, how does one say this? Have you ever heard of a condition called wolf heart before? Wolf heart. Mm -hmm. Wolf heart. Uh, oh. Oh. I don't like this. The wolf bark is white. Yep. The, the funny thing was, back back like a good five years ago or something like that, there was an MMA fighter which had this condition, and it was the only reason he had to uh, give up on being a champion. Basically, he was he was very good, and the condition didn't actually affect how well he fought. It's just that because he had the condition, the association was just like, yeah, nah, buddy, we're not risking that. <laughs> Ah, can it be fixed? Considering that my heart is mechanical. It can be fixed, but it will take some time to stabilize. Again, yeah. I will avoid it if I can avoid it. Anyhow, in your arms... No, is... no, no, that's what I say to Arty. In your arms is a pair of gloves. Can I check them? Not a good the fucking tide did him. Get you. Fucking nitwit. They are Polaris Tech, definitely. Keep this tucked away, somebody safe. Maybe sweet so I can break it down. No, not break it down, study it and see if we can make some use of it. I'll keep it with me. Yeah, make sure they make sure they don't turn on in your pocket, yeah? Yeah, don't worry. But would you like to link that aside? Would you like to link How is this ship named? How is this ship named? Let's see. Hmm. hmm. And well. do I know this specific ship? You know this specific ship very well, you've come to realize. Is it my ship? Yes. Former ship. Yep. <laughs> wow, I've came a full circle. Ugh. Yep, your former ship. And as you look around, you recognize some uh, very familiar faces. Well, it seems that I've come a full back, uh, a full back circle to Starlight. Lovely. What's your name, this thing? I just bark some orders at the people on the bridge whom I know I can trust. Who, you know? They, they they've been zip tied currently. They're all tied. <laughs> I just kind of like you know, still kind of with a full headache, still kind of like you know, almost half dead. Hey, Maggie, you can untie. Those. The, this guy is that guy. Just guy you this one. I just finished tying them down and be like, oh, okay. I'm sorry. I. Long story. Okay. Uh, I untie the specific people that Angel points at and give them an extra cookie. Unless they are allergic to it. <laughs> yes. Christ. I kind of just look. At our team, with sheer disbelief, exhaustion, and shock on my face. This is my ship. They gave that asshole my ship. Yeah, well, that asshole's also been split in two by, uh, by, your, by your own actions. So, all's well that ends well. You're not dead. Fucker's dead. We're still on the run, but, uh... At least you're in some. At least you're in a familiar place now. Yeah. Speaking of which, I guess that means you can give us a rundown on the capability, so we can stop getting, you know, fixing this thing up and getting the fuck out of here. Wait, 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 wait. One last thing. Uh, did we actually confirm that the previous captain is dead? Uh. No, you haven't. He got bisected by a micro railgun round. Well, 
I mean, let's check it. just in case. You, you don't I'll, want I'll look. another. Uh... <laughs> we don't want another cyborg incident. You're Jesus giving. Christ. Yeah. You're giving the DM ideas. Do not. Hit that A. You fucked We need to find the head. Uh, <laughs> add another round inside it. Yeah, just add another round. In Can skull. we find the head? Yeah, yeah, you, well, you found the head. Making sure. Is it dead? No. Or is he like, or is he like Ash and fucking aliens, Mara? You think this is funny? Yeah, see, huh. he is alive. Wait, the head is stalking? Yep. Hmm. Yeah. Uh-oh. No, I don't think this is funny. No, me, me neither. What are you asking? Me neither. Now hand back my ship. You mean my ship? No, this is my ship. See, Press it, the barrel against his head. Look, look, even Pat over there will call this my ship. Look at that. Travel logs. You, you, you look at Pat. Pat shakes his head. <laughs> We're going to the ship. I'm, 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 I'm going to access the console, so go to the ship logs and change ownership. Mm hmm. Yeah. You look over the and logs. Seems like it's my ship there. again. Just direct it to a certain angel. Shit. I think this is new systems. I think this is it. I think this is it. And done. You, all you, right. You look through all of the Polaris interface and all that. It's a separate operating system entirely. Uh, oh, I, I know that one. I can do this. <laughs> sure. I'll just yeah. make sure to link the ship to myself once more. They're, they're not on the fruit salad, they're not on the fruit pudding, or the Kit Kat, or anything like that. No. Nope. Oh, no. Yeah. Come on, lay it on us. What is it on? That's the, uh, it's a certain penguin system once again. <laughs> <laughs> no! Kidding me. Not again! Some of you may be very familiar with this system. Scream. Internal screaming. You're back home. You know this system all too well. Cry. Strong actions. <laughs> hey, it's using the there, there is indeed a level of screaming when it comes to seeing the system once again. Yeah, but well, I've got my ship again. And the funny thing is, this kind of system is heavily modular and encourages you to program a lot of your own code. You've noticed that most is of my your... old code still in there. You've noticed most of your old code has been overwritten or modified. I give a death glare to the severed head. Hey, 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 your shit's out of date, mate. Give me a reason to not end you here. Mm, I've got a dead man switch and the tide will be on the strip if I die. Oh, can the crew, which I can trust, confirm? Hey, you got the glass box or something? Yeah, make it soundproof. <laughs> I turned I turn the pad. You got like a glass box or something around here? Uh, let's see. Uh... Do I know anyone on the bridge crew who uh, has pet fish? Oh my, who has pet fish? <laughs> Actually, what? Oh my well, God. you see, I'm asking because you know the uh, fish feeding stuff. Uh huh. Mm hmm. You see, after he put his head into a glass, uh, you know, container, I want to just like you know sprinkle some fish food on him. Oh god! Well, you got a post officer Clive over there. Great. Well, once again, you are a shipping company, so there's not really that much in the way of official uh, military ranks, more so uh, degrees of governmental assignment. Authority, yeah. Yeah. So you got the regular crewmen, or uh, postmen in this case, as they are noted as. Well, I'll and... just make sure that the people I trust are assigned tasks on fixing the ship. And then your official old rank was a uh, post officer. <laughs> Quote unquote. <laughs> De deliverer of the, uh, deliverer of Polaris's uh, mail, as they like to put it. 
Man, this is lovely. Now I can give people proper ranks. <laughs> yeah, just look at the postal system. Yep, I know. Anyways. Yep. Oh, God. Now, what a... What a turn of events. Yes, you have found your old ship. It's uh, undergone... Undergone modifications. Significant modifications. There's a railgun on this fucking thing. There are, in fact, several railguns on this thing. Do you see uh, the picture I sent to you? Let's see. Ah, yes. That is the most uh, recent addition to my mod, but uh, I thought it's the prettiest one, so I thought I'd send this one. <laughs> and this, this wouldn't actually be that far off of what you're seeing in terms of your own vessel, realistically speaking. Hey, it, that's neat. just with a very crumpled Perfect. superstructure instead. We'll fix that eventually. That's another little ship sticking out the side. Sorry? <laughs> Just another little ship sticking out the side that we rammed into it. Yep. Well, we can probably uh, scrap that ship and use it to repair this one. The, the militant faith lasted one session. Good to know. <laughs> no, it's great. <laughs> Do you think no. we want to fix the militant faith? I don't know. It's a, it's a dingy you know, cargo this point, vessel. I think, maintaining a, I think at this point, maintaining a lower profile with a uh, fleet size might be a better option. Yeah. Probably oh. best to do what we can. This is fine. This is fine. What's the worst that could happen? Anyhow, would you like to well, finally uplink with the ship? Yes. You know to double check and make sure there's not left any little tricks behind for you. You are. Uh... I should know this operating system well enough to know that there are no tricks left. Well, would you like to use your old login? Or would you like to create a new would... user? Do I want to create a new user? That is a good question. I for I would like to ask the people who I can trust on the ship first. Uh -huh. If which one of the two I should I should I do? Uh, I don't think you want to ping back the base with knowledge that uh or ping back Polaris with knowledge that uh, an active war criminal is still alive. Well, you know that the war crime was pretty much made up by that head here, but that is very fair. I will create a new user. You, you hit the create new user. Please input username, password, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. I'll go through the usual process. But would you like to sign in offline? Yes. You, you sign in an offline mode. Airplane mode, We will, will keep basically. the ship on offline, yeah. We'll cross the other bridge when we will have the time. Let's see. You get you get eventually to the welcome welcome menu. Welcome new user to the interface of the let's see. The PT Darkstar. You notice that this ship has been given a very edgy name in your absence. I rename it back to Starlight. Immediately. Immediately renamed back to Star. <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't even a second when I've seen that edgy name. It's renamed back. <laughs> Just immediately. Dark's not. Nope. Starlight. <laughs> yeah, currently these are the readouts. You, you notice that, uh, a good chunk of it is just distress calls from various blocks, considering you rammed the damn thing. Yeah, I'll make sure that uh, we start solving the present issues. You, you see the status of several sentinels, you see the status of various locations of the crew, 
you notice that uh, the reactor room's not having a fun time right now. I'm making my way down there as you speak. Damn, uh, Swisso, you remember your ability to power up spaceships? Mm. <laughs> battery, battery. <laughs> Walking battery, yes. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'll also make sure to create some interfacing profiles for the bunch. Yep. And, well, I'll start doing the familiar process of damage control and making sure that the correct people are tasked with, tasked with correct tasks. Yep. You, uh, one and one. that the people who absolutely cannot be trusted are thrown in the brig. You are one by one unzip tying people and giving them additional desserts, basically. <laughs> As the, uh, sorry we rammed your ship, uh, welcome back to my service, essentially. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. But hey, at least this ended well for once. So, uh, Postman Pat over there comes up to you and is like, so, uh, we still working for the, we still working for Polaris? That is a good question. Do you think they can be trusted? You're, you're, <coughs> you're asking an employee of the Polaris shipping company if I can trust I'm my boss. I'm asking him off the record. Uh, okay, okay, you know what, we were assigned to the strip and we were going to go gamble, but, uh, as you can see, the planet we were ga planning on gambling on just got a glassed, so, uh, you know. I don't know, it feels like we should to report- To put it frank! Like, it, it, it feels like we should report back, but, uh, look. Look, we just, we were supposed to be on leave. Well, let's put it this way. They don't know what happened. And under the present circumstances, we can very, very formally say that it's um, emergency measures. Look, look, Polaris isn't going to be friend too friendly about losing a ship of this caliber. That is very true, but the ship just needs to go silent running for for present reasons. Look, look, we are we are a battleship crew practically on leave right now. We just wanted to relax. We, we wanted to relax, then we saw Kaiser vessels coming in, we saw some kind of hell drop of some kind, like... Look, we just came here uh, to gamble. Quick question. Yep. How many days were you supposed to be on leave? We had two whole weeks. Well, during those two weeks, let's figure out what the opinions of the crew are and let's figure out the situation before we decide on the course of action. Well, two whole weeks of jumping around space trying to not trying to not get Kaiser on our asses. You 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 have Kaiser on your Oh no. You, you see, you see the color drain from the postman's face. We'll be fine. Hmm. We'll figure out the port to take our leave in on the way. Wait, yeah, I mean, if you want. Wait, Trust wait. me, we need a break too. That Pat, Pat realizes something. He's just like, hold, hold up, hold up. Wait, the captain, former captain, assaulted your ship because you were in possession of certain artifacts. He points over at Suiso. Is that, is that the thing? Is that it? That thing there? Nah, it's just a yeah. fashion accessory. Uh, it, 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 it looked. It matches what we have on record. To sum it up, yes, he has the most powerful <laughs> artifacts within known space glued to his head. <laughs> Pat has already and pulled let's out. Put it this way, the artifact is overprotective, so I recommend just pretend he is normal. Pat has already pulled out a saber and is ready to charge down Suisa. 
No, no. We're going no, to make no, it. No, no, we're not even going to make it halfway across the room before you're going to get skewered like the last group that tried. The artifacts are temperamental. Look, look, look. If those artifacts weren't a part of the last war, we would have won. Look. Sure, sure. Could have, would have, should have. But the problem is, we're stuck in the present right now. And the more we sit here talking about this shit, and you, yeah. you know, deciding that, uh, you know, our company policy decides to take place here, you got to take this guy out, get the, you know, get the artifacts, you it, know? It's, it's, not really just, awesome. it's not just company policy. It's hundred. It's a just... hundred years of grief. Hundred years of disgrace. Cool. cool. You know what's also a okay. hundred? Hundred percent. We're going to fucking die. We stay here any longer. If Kai's are still glassing the planet when they realize we're still here. For now, so get the let's first do emergency repair and make a short jump to a safer area. Shelled the issue. Let's get this fucking shit sorted then. Send me where you want me. Reactor room. Attention required. Off I go then. The, uh, how, how does one say, the reckless maneuvering of this captain has, uh, caused some things to, uh, not be particularly great, so to speak. The shielding is failing, I'm gonna get... Yes, reactor shielding is failing. A healthy dose of radiation. Oh boy. Time to start fixing! Yes, for... <laughs> Time to, uh, grab a, a, a gun and, uh, <laughs> Time to fall <laughs> to it. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Fight and fall through the area and fix it. Screaming. Oh yeah. But yeah, most, right. most of the maintenance is pretty straightforward. It's a new system, new standards. They use DC instead of AC. It's weird, but yeah. Oh god. <laughs> My ass. It, it, My ass with manuals. I you, read through them. You, you, yeah, read, right. you read the manuals. They're all very corporate. Like even more corporate than the Ross Foundation manuals. Jesus Christ, look like fucking dry. Oh boy. Dry fucking yeah, they, they have their own little mascot of the Polaris shipping company oh, even <laughs> on board it on to it. What's it look like? Uh, cute. What's it look like? It's a star with a face on it. Oh. <laughs> it's like <laughs> smiley star, my beloved. Honestly, like, that is actually kind of cute. <laughs> Like, if you if you played the Mario Galaxy series, it's kind of like a Luma. Kind of. Oh. And it's just gesturing and pointing towards the various paragraphs and whatnot. Throwing on various <laughs> accessories, etc. But yes, that, that is most of what you see on the manual. And some of it is videos with this Luma going through uh, various stages of how to complete maintenance. Oh my god. <laughs> it's easy at least, I suppose. Yeah, it's very easy, very straightforward maintenance, but uh, yes, you, you notice how much it has been corporatized. Oh, I'm trying not to fall asleep listening to this. Yeah, it, it's a very... How, how does one put it? As you listen to it, it sounds like you're listening to an infomercial half the fucking time. <laughs> Were I not near such, were I not near such dangerous fucking you know conditions, I would actually be falling asleep right now. <laughs> Take the Polaris yeah! shipping company's new power wrench. Apply the power wrench to this, this, oh and God. this. <laughs> crank, crank. Now then, once you have tightened all of the bolts, you can now slam on the side of it with the power wrench, and reactivate, Slunk. reactivate Ooh. the system. Lunk. Once the system has been reactivated now, please go ahead and, uh, fuck's sake. Fuck's sake, Garmer. <coughs> anyway. <laughs> Once the system has been reactivated now, please run system diagnostics now. You can find system diagnostics underneath this menu now. Beep boop. It's good that the nya is in the manual. The manual. Screams The manual. A lot, lot of screaming now. Anyhow, anyhow, yeah. Once all is, once all of that is completed, diagnostics shows that nothing is wrong with the reactor, yeah. You may reboot the reactor, yeah. All right. Chip on the alert. Reactor rebooting. Please be safe or you, you something. Get, I don't fucking know. You get red emergency lights for a moment. 
Yeah. All right, it was nothing. Everything's back online, yeah. All right, the, didn't explode. I'm not a fucking mess. The full original lighting has come back to the ship. You notice that most of the ship looks like a fucking hospital. <laughs> That, that's the Kid. kind of interior. Ah! That's the kind of interior <sighs> color you're getting. Yeah. Sterile fucking shit, bro. It's like sterile holes of white with just more white light being shone through. Now, yeah. doesn't really smell like a hospital. Now, yeah. it smells more like oil and uh, gas. But uh, yeah, well, the only reason it smells more like oil and gas is because, well, uh, I'm sure some of it's been leaking somewhere and getting into the food. democracy. <laughs> democracy. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> there are bugs fossilizing in the vents. We need their oil now. Oh, God, no. <laughs> I'm sure it's because of the uh, aforementioned incident involving, you know, yep. smaller shit. Please. All right. The terminal then echoes back. Please run a trace now. All right. Trace on. Do 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 do. You get a full system Ooh. diagnostics being blasted directly into your brain now. Yeah. Oh. Your uh, any kind of nano chip you previously had assisting with processing immediately fries itself. Yeah. I, I have nothing, bro. It's just my brain. Your brain is getting fried. You, you, you feel like you have a several hundred degree <laughs> fever at this point now. Yeah. I smell soup! <laughs> you, you are very much not used to this kind of thing, yeah. What? Is it over yet? How long does this last? How long am I? How, how long does this last? There's blood leaking out of your nose at this point, yeah. <laughs> I'm frying. Good good I'm, being I'm being cooked over here. The, so, and, well, one of the engineers approaches you and, uh, Pushes you off the terminal, yeah. This goose is getting cooked. <laughs> My goose is getting cooked. The, the, <laughs> the, the engineer comes off and like, hey, hey mate, yeah? Do, do, you, yeah. do you not have a processing chip? <laughs> Wait a second, I have the perfect picture to depict Artie right now. Oh, oh boy. God, yeah. <laughs> Wait a second. My mental image is, you know, in... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <That's the one. laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, hang on. I, look, all, all engineers needed to take mandatory surgery over back in the tire, back in the shipping company. And yeah. Do, do, do you, you, you don't have a chip? Yeah. I, I can't contact me. The, the temporary service. Uh, this... Okay, hang on. This won't hurt a bit. You see the guy pull out a drill. Uh, uh, <coughs> uh, uh, you, you watch the drill approach your eye. Yeah. <laughs> fucking Neurojack fucking bullshit, bro. Fuck off. The... I wonder if I can just spasm so hard I throw the metal arm towards the fucking drill. You know what I mean? <laughs> Do you want to? Do I have to, uh, my motor functions okay? No. Is it just my mental faculties that are frying right now, or is it like yeah, the that, whole that set? That would be the case. That would be the case. All right. Me mental faculties fried. Your motor functions are probably fine. All right. Then I'm fuck. Then it's just like this. It's just the reflex comes in. The the fucking arm comes by and just smacks the fucking drill out of the out of the claw, out hey, of the way. Hey 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 hey! That was a nice uh, nap. No, 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 no. Uh, okay, I see you're new around here, but we do things a very specific way. Hey, buddy. Chief, come pin this guy down now. I'm, try I'm trying to stand. I'm, get I'm getting up to my feet at this point and trying to just stagger off while he's, like, turned to talk at this point. Right? Just you trying to get out of here. an absolute unit blocking the door. Yeah. <laughs> Are these getting his first uh, implants? I'm so proud of him. I, I got the I, 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 so I got the rivet gun on me still, right? Uh huh. It is a 
Standing, don't harm them. Standing, don't harm them. We need to live on this ship. This is the your, last safe place in this trip. Standing in your way is Chief Engineer David. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a see his name tag or like. Yeah, you just see a little name tag. Jamie. On there. Uh, a little <laughs> tag on there just being like, my name is David. Yeah. <laughs> and then just on the side of it, Chief Engineer. Yeah. Flesh to show me, she's David. But mm -hmm. I, uh, I don't just sent to. I uh, just sent to have a, a drill in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get. Don't get sent. Didn't get sent to having this either. And I like, you know, just like flex the arm for a second. Uh, it'll be over soon, whatever. I should have. I should have ribbon in his foot. <laughs> Come on! We need to live on this ship, buddy. Just his foot. Just his foot. It bounces off his steel-tipped boots. Yeah. What the fuck do you mean bounces off his steel-tipped <laughs> boots, motherfucker? Or were his boots made completely out of steel? Who knows? Yeah. Anyway. Oh, you you're you're to... such a cut. Oh, you're yeah. such a cut. Fuck you. Get chip. Get chip. Get chip. Get no. chip. <laughs> oh, all you need to know is this guy is more machine than he is human. Yeah. No. Oh. You, you uh, get picked up by the guy and choke slammed to the ground. Now, hey, all right, drill. Thank you. No, no. Look, not gonna sugarcoat it. Now. And just said, I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we can do this the easy way or the hard way. You either get chipped now, now, and you can have your motor fun and you can have your uh, brain functionality back now, or we can leave you for like two weeks being a lobotomite before your functions come back now. Uh, Two weeks vacation doesn't sound too bad. Mm, no. How long has it been in the timeline, by the way? It's from the start. We need you back at your motor function so that we can unfuck this situation, buddy. From you the can start, you... it's been about three months. I could use two week vacation. Yeah, we need the all the hands we can get, not. so... Uh... Okay, look. Look. Now... A couple of us didn't like getting the chip at first, nya, yeah, but after the first time, it's not so bad the next few times, nya. Yeah, because this thing needs There's to be replaced more? after. It, it expires and needs to be replaced after a while, you know, nya. Yeah. And, you know, even so now, I'm giving you an old model, nya. Yeah. Uh, Anyhow, nya, yeah, you can, if uh, you, you can either watch the process and there will be very little in the way of scarring as we put this drill through your eye, nya. Yeah. Or you can try closing your eyes and you'll have a very um, split eyelid afterwards now. It's just a fucking dead space two fucking thing, isn't it? It is. Yeah. I will take that hard consent. Uh, Alright. Uh, We're chipping this man up. Uh, <laughs> He's chipping in! Roll me a d20. I yeah. will not chip it in. I gotta stay. Hey, you reckon I can roll stay cool for this? Stay cool. <laughs> yeah, you can no. stay cool. <laughs> yeah. soon, yeah. Honestly, stay cool is kind of accurate here. I'm just remembering what happens when you constantly miss with the damn thing in dead space. Yeah. Yeah. yeah jams it into his eye too hard. Jams yeah. it into his fucking face. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. You you stay cool long enough for the drill to yeah. pierce through your eye. Yeah. The screams reverberate throughout the lower decks. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, you feel the you feel the chip uh, take root, and you feel your mental faculties coming back now. No, it could you, be worse, you, Addy. You are down an eye, currently. Uh, yeah. Uh, if, your, your depth if, perception is fucked. You fucking eye! You fuckers! Oh, mother! The eye will return back soon enough, don't worry. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> I didn't fucking come down here! 
to get my fucking eye done in. Now the horrifying thing is you are now able to hear Angel's voice directly through the ship's uplink now. Uh, okay, what the fuck? Huh? What? Hello, this is your captain speaking. I'm <laughs> 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 only speaking to Artie, by the way. Artie, look, calm down. This is standard procedure. The people Get out of my head. 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 The most unnerving <laughs> feeling, because normally it's meant to be like... <laughs> No, normally, with most devices you have, it is still sound-based. This one is direct signals. Yeah. It sounds so bad. Oh, so it feels, it, very un my... it feels very uncanny. Like, as if... So imagine you were thinking with your own thoughts, only there's a completely different voice thinking alongside of you. Oh my god, that's... A, that is a... Oh. That's an extremely awkward sensation. Anyway... That's my head ain't so I don't need your fucking thoughts right now. You don't get the fucking- Tell you! Okay, look. I, I'm just uh... gonna send you where your cabin is. We found you a cabin. Get some rest. And after that, this implant is going to help you with your work. It's gonna be easier. Can't wait to my... You, you are just... able to understand- You are now able to understand raw programs, yeah. I should have spent two weeks just a fucking bottom right over this shit. You're a f you, you can... David, fuck you. Engineer over there, I don't know your fucking name. Fuck you also. You're welcome. F You're a bunch of fucking cunts. Angel, fuck you as well. Just because. <laughs> and let's try to Buy me dinner first. Christ. <laughs> At, at this point, I, I just, I, I turned it into a ball pit. I'm just like, smashing my head against the fucking... Smash, smash my head a couple times against the the, the wall, the deck, and just... Sorry, the wall play. You get the head just... the out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, li it lives in your head now, now. The voices, the intrusive, the intrusive Rent thoughts. Rent-free yeah. in your head. And so I stumble towards the fucking crew quarters. Probably Anyhow. tripping over every little, like, lip on the door. Anyhow, at this point, <laughs> the others are offered the same thing. Uh, would you like a biochip? No. I just shake my oh, head. No. no, no, I don't do any engineering. I'm fine. I'm good. Mm, it's a bit hard to do communication on this vessel without them, but... Hmm... Let's see, could, could, could I see your personal interface, your PDA? Yeah? No? Uh, I hand it over. I love the little yas at the end of those unsettling messages. <laughs> Alrighty now, and I'll uh, just... Let's see, this thing does have a SIM card slot, right? Yeah? Yes. Alright, sorry to whatever telecom service you might have been using before. You, you see them deftly yank out the card crush it, and then plug in their own card now. Oh! I mean, they still had credit anyway. on that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, you are... Remember to cancel the subscription. Yeah, yeah go you're ahead. You handed your PDA back now. Okay, anytime you need to do any kind of hyper-processing or receive information or transmissions from this vessel, you'll need to consult this thing. It'll be, uh... How does one put it? The chip disables the limiter on the vibrator, so, uh, you'll know. You'll know. Okay. Alright. Looks over at Phantom. You, Chief? Nope. Not touching mine. This is all custom built. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yep. Well, it's either your PDA or your head. Which one is it going to be? What do you mean, my head? Well, we can inject this biochip into your head, or we can slap in the SIM card, similar to the other guy now. Yeah. Can I not have it at all? Buddy, it's going to be very hard to communicate on this vessel without this thing, yeah? What do you mean? I'll be with the captain almost most of the time, actually. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And what happens if you're not, and we have to go to battle stations or emergencies? I'll be in my mech. Simple as that. The guy 
stop sign. Can we that, just give but... them a spare PDA? Okay, yeah, you're right, you're right. Here, here's a burner PDA now. Yeah. Tosses I grab it. All right. Simple enough. Looks over at Suisa. All right, what about you, fellow with the artifact? I just had a, P a PDA. <laughs> Oh, that was very straightforward. Okay, okay. Oh, jeez, you have every single season on here? Jesus. I you, feel you, very cheated. You, you notice every you notice the guys just scanning <laughs> through lists and lists of Gundam series at this yes. point. Uh, also, also, Adi, you could have been worse. You you got dead space, you know what you you what you could have possibly gotten, Adi? Mm. Volo from BG3. <laughs> Volo. Lose. Ah uh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh God, we're back here anyway. God. GG. That is a GG. Christ, yeah. Anyhow, yeah, anyhow, yeah. Your, uh, your PDA is uh, scanned through for any uh, illegal recordings or whatever. Blah, blah, blah. They just finally tears out your SIM card and injects their own custom one. Alright, now while we're in offline mode or airplane mode, I guess they used to call this thing, uh, you won't be able to browse, but you'll have access to the ship's local network. So what is notable is you've lost access to the pirate network or the pirate lancer system. Yeah. We lost our own home. But aside from that, you've now gained access to Polaris' systems. Wow. Their stuff is, uh, how does one say, aggressively specced towards automation. <laughs> oh, boy. They, uh, they, they like their NCPs. They, they like having their onboard AIs a lot. Hmm. You know how um, Ludic Path hates everything AI in Star Sector, right? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that Polaris would make them spasm and screech. Basically. Polaris yeah. watering on Tritac. Mm, yep. Imagine Tritac, but they are a post office. Yeah, they're, they're just a post office, aggressively sending. And also them. imagine they're the third largest faction instead of being one of the minor factions. Oh, third largest? No, no. Polaris is the largest. It is the largest, yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. Big Brazil, Damn. Big Brazil sitting at, let's say, third, whereas the... Uh... Think of the following. Imagine every single post office on planet Earth united and had a private military. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from shit deliveries, you would also see them actually having bigger army than America. <laughs> Privatized arm. Yep. Why do you think it was called uh, or nicknamed the Polaris Tide when it happened, or when the invasion happened, prior? <laughs> they had a uh, sheer numbers, and you—you you were just one of them. Yep. Mm -hmm. And the, one of the main advantages they had was this instantaneous communication system to relay orders. It's very handy when you get used to it. Very handy when you get used to it. You also can poke into the ports of your subordinates very easily. <laughs> oh, that means I now see Artie's thoughts. Yes, you, you can now see Artie's thoughts. You can also uh, send in the intrusive thoughts too. In suffering. Oh, welcome. The only thing in Adi's thoughts is this. The only thing in thoughts is what? Yeah, pretty much right now. It's, just, it's, it's a mess. It's a mess in here right now. <laughs> what the fuck is that? This milk being Fucking spilled. SpongeBob, bro. Uh, Anyhow, with all of this. So, Artie, you notice that when you are walking around the ship and just trying to find things, you instinctively know where they are? Yep. Pretty much, because you have been hooked up to the database. Aggressively hooked up to the database. Once again, I will state that I feel cheated. I feel scammed. I, it's, it's forced upon me without any other option. Your, your eye. Your eye stings, still. Still a bit of blood dribbling down, eh? 
Kind of, yeah. Would you like would you like an eye patch? Why not? <laughs> you, you you have various options for eye patches. There's a black eye patch, there's one of them funny uh bandage-like eye patches, one of them cloth makeup pad eye patches. Yeah. Take your pick. We'll go with the We'll go with we'll go with the tried and true standard eye patch. Standard eye patch. You're, you're just handed a very simple black eye patch. Oh, great. Hey, you oh. look cool. Shut the fuck up. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go. <laughs> just stopping off to the fucking creek quarters. I need rest. The fuck you talk to me. Good. I don't want to hear a single thought in my head right now. You Come even you. You arrive at the crew quarters. The crew quarters you, is. You uh... think. You think about. You think about. <laughs> <laughs> the, the crew quarters aren't very. Uh, aren't what you're used to, so to speak. What is it? What, what, what are we looking at here? Like a. Like a capsule hotel. Ah. Ah, we need to find spaces then. L I guess literally, I mean... you have your own assigned capsule. Does that mean we have more space in our mech? Th there is more space in your mech if you want to sleep in your <laughs> mech instead. <laughs> mech it is. Cramp. Cramp <coughs> space. Wait a second, Artie, you can check the chat. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, yep. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is way funnier than it should be. <laughs> uh, yes, you are. Uh, I. You, you can I, uh, settle in the capsule, or you can uh, go for your mech. I. I'll be honest. It's com It's probably my mech's got comfy seating. <laughs> Your next <laughs> cockpit automatically opens when you approach it. Yeah, of course it does. My fucking HP is still in there, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> your, your NHP begins uh, discussing with you. Uh, you've installed new systems to your own person. These are very foreign systems to us. Please uh, check compatibility. I. Th okay. First of all, forcibly installed on me. Second of all, all right, compatibility mode it is. Just, I'm gonna fucking, can you like dial down the volume a little bit? Cause I have a stingy headache right now. My fucking eye is ruined for now. I can dial down the volume for you. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Mech systems booting up in safe mode. Sure. All right. The, uh, sure, you got the range for this one. The, the, the resolution bleeds into your face. It, it is four, 480. Well, six, 640 by 480. Got right. It, it is a resolution is... you have not seen. Combine this with my horrific depth perception, I'm sure this is very fun to look it, at. It, it looks like individual pixels floating across the screen at this point. All right, well... Can, uh, I'm just going to let you work through it. I'm going to get some shut eye while you do this. I'll be awake for another five minutes. Some shit. I'm going fucking sleepy shit. Downloading system update. Downloading system update. And I go and I go I hit that chong shoe button. Reinstalling operating system. I'm 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 honk shooing at this point, it's just so this is letting a ride. It has been great to be in service of you, Langhart. This NCP will now retire. Uh. Uh. What? Uh. You, you, you see, you see a little funny animation playing out of it burying itself. Burying itself. Yep. What? What? Yep. Huh? When you uh, come to, you see that your uh, operating system has been rewritten to Polaris standard regulation. Oh. That, that is to say, oh. instead of your N NCP, you now see uh, a funny little star thingamajig. <laughs> now fully oh, <wow>. animated. 
You know what's crazy, though, you go? Go on. The NHP is a whole custom thing done by me, right? Yep. Like, it's its own separate entity. It's not actually, you know... Yep. It's not like uh, Whiskey's in it. Wait. Whiskey, your NHP is just a... Uh, it's not a technophile NHP, right? Oh, my NHP is not a technophile NHP. My, um... My NHP is a ship captain in HP. Okay, I see. Yep. It's also mostly customized by me, but I assume that my character built on top of the Polar stuff. Oh. But yes, you see a star mascot now. However, so something's not quite right. It's not quite as chipper as it should be. Oh. Uh, don't you look like a familiar little thing? I think you're the thing that got me this problem in the first place. This is a problem of your own doing. You, you notice that your NHV is uh, still very much present, just been transformed and made <laughs> compatible with Polaris' <laughs> systems. Compatibilized! <laughs> it is now a very, how does one put it, gruff and matter-of-fact version of the star mascot. <laughs> you, know, you know when I... <laughs> it, it, it does not pull punches in comparison. You know when I found you in that scrap heap ages ago and you know fucked you in here and you did you didn't really have a picture, but I think this I think this suits you. I think this I think this form suits you, huh? don't you think? The, the... Oh hey look <laughs> are you coming to terms with it? The the, the star <laughs> the star begins <laughs> dancing around while, while casually just uh, giving you the rundown of your new features. <laughs> Arty wakes up, looks at the changes to his HP. This is not that bad. It's fucking <laughs> funny. It's hilarious. <laughs> Meanwhile, the singing mess. pain in my eyeball is still present. Yep, the singing pain in your eyeball is still present, and it draws a and it draws a lot of attention to that. Just the. Uh. Uh, are you okay. okay? Do you need a health diagnostic? No. No, buddy. Alright, alright, asshole. Please do the snark and keep, keep the ball rolling, would you? You fucking... starry eyed hmm. freak. Health diagnostic reports that, uh, oh... The drill that injected the uh, biochip into you may not have been sterilized correctly. Oh, great. How about you? Great. Great. You, you, your eye, your uh, pierced eye feels very itchy. Uh... Don't scratch it. It makes it worse. <laughs> I'm already. <laughs> oh, you're talking from the bucky. In my, in my head. All right. The, let's, the let's, intrusive let's, thoughts. All right. Let's, let's, I'm, I'm trying, I'm, I'm like thinking of this, right? I'm trying to think this rather than talk this. this yep. You're telling me, you know, from experience that... Scratching makes it worse. Yep. Jesus Christ. All right. Look, <sighs> I'm trying to help, contrary to what you think. Yeah, can you just stop, stop talking so loud in my head, please? Several. I'll keep it down. Several doses of this antibiotic are required to uh, remove infectious material. The, right. The uh, your mech manages to uh. Shoot out a needle. Now then, oh. we can do this the easy way or the hard way. Oh. You are starting to learn that this might be one of Polaris's mottos. Oh, God. <laughs> There's a God out there, please help me. I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> I, I, I believe that means you would like it the hard way, huh? No, 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 no. Your, your, the hard... adju your adjustable seat starts uh, adjusting. Hey, hey. I'm perfectly capable of administering this myself. Hey. Let, let him administer himself. He should be fine. The needle stands down. All right. Okay. Okay, so stabilizer on. Okay, tremor support and stabilization counteract on. Okay, all right, here we go. The instructions say to jab it into the side of your neck. 
All right. Here we go. All right. You can do this. <laughs> Stab. <Somebody. laughs> let's roll medical. Let's okay. Let's 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 do this just for fun. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Ah. Your hand ah. isn't the most okay. stable. Okay. You, you miss a major artery with your first stab. Ah. All right. Let's try that again. I think I'm still waking up a bit. Yep. Okay, no problem this time. No problem this time. All right. Ah. Just roll my neck a bit. It's just like, ah. Yeah. But, and then I realize, maybe it's not so comfortable to sleep in here. <laughs> There is more room here, but uh, there's no. You can like, I do have an. Ex I do have. This, this, this cockpit is more or less a bedroom. Yeah, like it's like, a. Not... There, there's plenty of room to sit, but not as much room to lie down. Basically. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm pretty sure say. that Suizo definitely gets uh, like a, a quick catalog of the Polaris mech parts, which he can get. Oh god. Oh, I already, I already made, I already made another bill already for next conversation. Don't worry about that. Uh, <laughs> uh -oh. All I can say is most of Polaris's list of stuff is uh, all the AI based. Uh, so. Yeah, man, you can, all, all I can say ah, right, is that the next see, conversation, or oh, the next conversation, you go right. Everyone, we playing Lensa. We playing an RTS. Oh God. <laughs> oh units, local uh, units. I see you have the expansion. Oh damn! I can't right. believe that we switched to Lancer battle group. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Lancer battle groups, are we ever coming back to it with speed? Oh, yeah, 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 I'm getting the maps and the charts ready. Oh, very good. We are wow. going to get back to it. I also want to finalize the UAF stuff and the SBR stuff. Oh boy. Very good, very good. But yes, expanded compartment. In that case, then yeah, you got plenty of room, dude. But like I said, it's a bedroom in here. It's basically. Not like, a, uh, not like a Minotaur where it's infinite space, but you know. Feels uh, like a tri uh, trucker bedroom. Trucker yeah. bedroom. Christ. <laughs> yes, compared to the usual capsules with which this uh, crew would be more than satisfied with. After all, you are still a shipping company. You do have a lot of cargo on board. <laughs> All right. So what's the so what's the regular uh, you know administration of this medication? What's the regular administration of this medication? Two, three times a day. All right. Pay me again when I need to wake up and put it in. Nice. Fucking go back to sleep. You go back to sleep. Now then, for tonight, that is where we will finish up. You have gotten through, uh... That was not so bad! You, you've gotten through yeah, some very so nice stuff, and Suiza has, again, managed to avoid explaining things. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we pressed him hard enough for, for any... Yeah, we will need to press him harder later. Yeah. 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 Next session, it starts mm -hmm. with... Lights being shown in his, in his <laughs> eyes. And Interrogation chamber. Screaming. You got that cop. This is fine. This is fine. Do, 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 do. Screaming. I, I am probably just going to take it easy for the rest of the night rather than booting up Helldivers. Yeah, you can take it easy if yeah. you're a coward. Because unfortunately, my right wrist is still not doing well. Unfortunately. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. Huh. It, it, uh, yeah. Is, it is better if my wrist fucks up on the job than if it doesn't fuck up on the job. Because then at least I can blame <laughs> the company for it and still get paid. Like, you we lost <laughs> the creek. <laughs> we may have lost the creek, but people are, uh, people are trying to reclaim the creek. People are trying to reclaim the creek. Anyhow. We will reclaim, we will persevere. We will persevere. I actually logged on earlier and we were at under 1% on the creek, but we were at the creek again. So nice. I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what the deal with that is. All right. I am going to raid into an idiot who's been going on for way too long. <laughs> <sighs> Anyhow, thanks for swinging by. Let's just transition over then. Mm -hmm. Democracy will prevail, Riston says. Uh, I don't know about that. Too many people are trying to kill bugs. <laughs>